Hey, 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 my name is Polish Links, and welcome to the Waters Above Prelude, which is a prelude basically <laughs> to the full game that uh, I think will be released sometime soon. Anywho, uh, developed by Studio Elon, published by Sekai Project, which I guess isn't that much. Uh, of a surprise, uh, the first thing I did, I actually was wandering to options and graphic novel, adventure novel. Not really sure which one we should go with, uh, but uh, well, maybe it will be fine. Hopefully. Uh, Alright, so. Apparently, I think, at least I think, there are four, like, chapters. Probably short ones. Uh, we'll go through them, we'll see what what I guess we can more or less expect from the full game. So this is like free prelude to the game, obviously, as the title suggests. I mean, it doesn't suggest it's free, but it's a prelude, right? But the game is free, we'll see. Uh, okay, let's go, let's go, remind me, why not? Lying in the dirt feels pretty good. What if I change to adventure novel now? Nothing. Graphic novel. Okay, so. Yeah, lying in the dirt feels pretty good. Okay. Maria wouldn't like it, I know. She'd say there is all kinds of gross things down there and I have such a nice outfit. Why ever would I want to get it so dirty? But it's nice. It's nice and cool down here and there are all kinds of friends. Sea slugs are pretty from distance but they are even prettier when one's crawling right in front of you. I've been laying on the ground for hours totally. Still trying to get one to come over. Finally, it does. It's so pretty. It's covered in dozens of neon pink tentacles that swirl around it in the water as it inches along the seafloor. Okay. Spear of tentacles. I finished Assassination's Classroom's uh, second season. Assassination Classroom second season. Not S, okay. It was good. It really was good. Uh, but we are with the waters above, prelude at the moment. I don't move it and it comes closer and closer until it finally crawls into my outstretched hand. I can barely tell it's there. It's so small and soft and it feels like it doesn't wave anything at all. Apple, that's disgusting. Please put that thing down. It's my rap. I've been waiting for her all day. I jump to my feet with the sea slugs in my hand and rush over to her. It's not gross, it's friendly! It's pretty and swirly and it even has a crown, just like you, this was a queen! Hey, you think that's the difference? With... Graphic novel, adventure novel? Is it the difference that we get, like, the clouds? You know what, I like that form. I really do. Like, in the bottom we get the narrator, and over here we get uh, the characters. I like that idea. I hold it out to her, but I can tell she doesn't like it because she backs away also. They all... they all... they all have crowns! Well then, all sea slugs are queens, Myra. She's frowning, but I can tell she's trying her best not to smile. She does this a lot. I can tell she's trying to be stern with me, but she's not very good at it. She sighs. It means I've won. I look up at the jellyfish crown resting on Myra's hair. She loves it. I can tell she does too, because... Well, I've never seen it. I've never seen her without it. Or maybe... Wait, what? What? Eh. Okay, that was way too fast for me, okay? What the hell? Text. Can we... Alright. 
Is that how you breathe too? Why doesn't anyone else have one then? How do I breathe without one? Should I make one? Do you think I'd look cute if I had one? I mean, I already am cute. Cuter? Can I even be cuter? Mara, how could I be cuter? Okay, the problem is it was automatic. I don't want skipping. Hmm. Mar okay, that's too slow now. God damn it! Mara smiles and bends down so we're face to face, and then she puts a hand on my cheek. The only possible way you could be cuter is if you put down that slack. I have. I don't wanna have to choose. I'm cute. The sea slack's cute. Together, should we be like the cutest thing imaginable? But it's not like I can disappoint Myra. I kneel down and let the sea slack go. When I stand back up, Myra is smiling. It's so warm, it makes me feel so safe. I love it when she smiles at me. And to answer your other question, of course I don't breathe with my crown. I just like how it looks. Uh, she smiles again, but she's biting her lips, so this time it looks a little nervous. Maybe she's being self-conscious? She shouldn't be. She looks really good in her crown. She's got to be the prettiest sea nymph there ever was. I bet everyone else is jealous of her. I don't get a chance to tell her that for because she breathes in really deeply and when she exhales her face is determined, like she just decided on something. If it's okay, I'd like to ask you some questions now. It's essentially you answer me as honestly as you possibly can. Uh, she's looking directly into my eyes. I think this is really important to her. So I take a deep breath, like she just did, and when I exhale I try to make my face as determined as hers was. I don't think it works so because she breaks into a smile. Alright then. She sounds like she's trying to hold back a laugh. She better not be wanting to laugh at me. I wasn't trying to be funny, so it's not allowed. Eventually, the serious expression returns to her face and she puts both her hands on my shoulders. Apple, I. I need you to tell me how you got like this. L like this? What do you mean? I look down at myself. I don't get it. My clothes aren't dirty, Mara. I promise. They are not even really real, so I can roll around on the ground as much as I want and it's not a problem. You don't need to worry. She shakes her head. I don't mean like that. Do you remember when you were born? The shape you had? That's how every other star is. They all look like that all the time. That's why they need us to take care of them. But you're different. Why are you different? Her voice is trembling a little, even when she speaks and her eyes are glistening. Not with tears, right? I don't want her to cry. She seems almost scared, for, but I'm not sure what would be scaring her. Mara, are you okay? I'm okay, I promise. I just need to know how you got like this. Her brow is crunched up and she's holding onto my shoulders really tight. I can tell she wants me to know how important this is to her. And if it's that important to her, it's important to me too. The only problem is... I, I don't really know. I hear lots of voices from lots of other stars. All the time. Old stars, young stars, stars who've passed away and even stars that haven't been born. And they tell me all kinds of things. They're always talking to each other, to themselves, to me. But it's hard to make sense of any of it, and I don't think they've ever said anything about why I can change my shape. And I don't really know how to ask them questions back. Every time I try, even they either can't hear me or they pretend not to. Hmm. Mara is looking at me, just waiting. So she looks so sure I can answer her. I don't really know. I I'm sorry, Mara. I just woke up like this. I didn't do anything special. I don't think I'm anything special. Myra is disappointed by this. She looks away from me to the ground. I don't want to disappoint her. But it's great, isn't it? It's so much more free uh, freedom. It's so much more fun. I can run. I can jump. I can do a cartwheel. 
I mean, I can do a cartwheel. Not yet at least. I don't try now because I don't want to fall on my face in front of Moira. That would be really embarrassing. All I need is a little practice. And I can laugh. I love laughing. And it sounds really cute when I do it too. And I can do this. I run to her and wrap my arms around her neck. She seems surprised for a moment, but then she hugs me too. It is so safe like this. It reminds me of all the times that Mara hugged me before. And now I can hug her back. I don't care why it happened. I'm glad it did. I understand you. I love you, mom. Okay, maybe not in not that way I understand you, but... Ah... Uh, mm. Mara pulls back and looks at me. Honestly, I'm not even sure what that word means. I don't know it from the stories Mara used to tell me. And I know she isn't really... Uh, uh, she isn't really my mom, I guess. I don't really have a mom, no stardust, but if any star was gone, then it would be me, and my mom would be her. My face is hot, but I don't have anything to be embarrassed about. She must not think it should be embarrassing either because she just smiles, kisses me on the forehead and stands up. I only have one other question for you. I know, I hope I'm able to answer this one better than I did the last. Why did you do it? Why did you release all those stars? That one's easy. I wanted them to be free. Just like I am. It's so much fun. This is the way it should be. I just want them to be able to smile like I can. I want to make everyone smile, that's what I want most. But more than anyone else, the person I want to make smile the most is you, mom. That's what Leanan would have wanted, I think. Myra's eyes go white as I finish talking and I see them glistening even more than before. Quickly she spins on her heel and turns her back to me. Myra, what's wrong? She raises a hand to her face and it looks like she wiped something away before she turns back around. Mara, what's wrong? Nothing's wrong, child. Nothing at all. She's staring at me so intently, it makes me feel a little self-conscious. I promise, I promise I'm not going to let anything happen to you, no matter what it takes. Oh. I don't really know what she means by that, but I know absolutely that it's true. Mara would never lie to me. Okay. Alright, you know what? We will divide those like four little chapters into four separate episodes. So, for now, hope you enjoyed uh, the Remind Me part of the Waters Book Prelude. Tomorrow, we are going with Walter Hyatzins. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye-bye.